Welcome to your weekend love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Make sure you check all your signs as this may resonate with everybody. Oh. Alright, let's see what Taurus has going on in love and what you need to know. Alright, you have the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. The person you are dealing with. Taurus dealing with in love. We have the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Nice, the Sun. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Five of Wands. Bottom of your deck is the Knight of Wands, or Prince of Wands, with the Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands. All right. Okay, so Taurus, you are openly communicating with somebody about the heartache and the pain that you have felt. Um, it's almost therapeutic for you. You feel you have to um, get this off your chest. Get this. Uh, you just have to say this to this person, um, thinking that that's going to get you out of this place of feeling stuck. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with an Aries or you're communicating with an Aries. Wow, nice. Or Sagittarius, two major arcanas. So, most definitely, you feel this is part of your healing. Um, you're ready to take back control of your life. You've been feeling this hurt and this pain for far too long, and you are done. You're at the end of that cycle. You um, are now focusing on taking back control of your life and finding that healing, that inner peace, that uh, that balance, The you know, the being able to nourish your your own mind and soul you know your mind body and soul be patient with yourself you will get out of this difficult energy um soon enough the person you are dealing with like i said could be a fire sign um this is somebody that you are married to that most definitely did not contribute as much time affection and attention to the marriage that needed to be they could have been out, you know, with people who superficially cared about them. You know, like they are around people that made them feel, you know, better than what what they felt type of energy. Um, and they were most definitely uh, not putting enough time into this relationship with the Hierophant on that. Um, they have a lot of confusion about where their emotions lie. Um, they know that they care about you, um, or they, you know, they knew they did, but they feel that this is at the end of its course. But they're very confused, and they could be trying to intentionally confuse you um, about the whole situation as well. Yeah, so as far as um, this situation where they're walking away, from something the two of you have created not wanting to you know you're you could be asking them to wipe the slate clean let's start over let's do this again and they're refusing and remember this could be vice versa but that's because this cycle has completed there's no need to continue um if if both of you do not want to contribute to the relationship wholeheartedly which the person in the second row doesn't because they have been spreading their energy out for a long time. The, there are things that are being illuminated currently that is meant to come to light. 
This is going to help you move into the path you're meant to be moving into, Taurus. This is going to lead you and guide you to, um, to where you're meant to be, where you're destined to find, um, you know, destined to find your independence, your where you can invest in your own happiness. I love these two together. Um, the sun for me are, um, yeah, this is just going to lead you to a very beautiful place where you can focus on making yourself happy um, because you've been through some very difficult um, energy in the last year, two years, three years. The queen of pentacles, most definitely loving and nurturing on yourself. Um, because you've been loving and nurturing everybody but there is a choice that needs to be made here whether to stay stuck here or whether to go and find that emotional peace that internal um balance that you're hoping for there is a lot of conflict between the two of you even though i feel like it may not be spoken even about a third party or a secret person that was kept either from you or Taurus, you could be the one that has the third party. Um, because like I said, it can go vice versa. But one of you has a secret person, a third party, and that's causing a lot of conflict. If you're the one with the third party, you have a lot of inner conflict because you don't know who to choose um, with the lovers there. If you're the one that your spouse has a third party, because you're definitely married to this person with the Hierophant. If not married, you've been committed for years. Um, but the universe is guiding you and pointing you to become single, to become independent, to um, you know work on your own happiness, your own uh, you know fulfillment in life, and to not to no longer um, be in this secretive uh, energy. This you know where there's a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting, a lot of internal conflict. Um, because you, they really are encouraging you to find that healing, to let go of this energy and to focus on yourself. Um, the person you are dealing with could have been very uh, hot and cold, very in and out. They could have um, stepped outside the relationship for sex, or this is you, Taurus. But either way, one of you is doing what's best for them and walking away from this, this marriage, this commitment. Um, and you're going to realize what needs to be done when you're in this time of meditation or taking a step back and um, looking at things from a different point of view. And you're going to release the toxic connection that you have here. This is toxic. This is karmic cycles going round and round. This isn't the first time this has been going on. But you are finally to the end of your rope and you are releasing this. You are putting down the burden of this connection that isn't yours to carry releasing this toxic relationship where you can find balance you're now allowing the change in your life you could have been trying to fight the end of this now you're um, ready for this change to happen uh, so you can find that balance again all right whoa i got cards all different directions here All right, Taurus. Let's get one card of guidance for Taurus. The sun could be illuminating the the secrets too that are going to give you that extra push to release that toxic energy. Okay, you got to express your love in the reverse. So, um, and it's clarified with children. So I feel that there is no expression of love here and that for the reason why the two of you are sticking it out is because you have children together um yeah let me see here yeah most definitely wow okay so yeah there is no real, I mean, the, you guys love each other because you have children, but there's none of that passion, no, like, no desire to really stay with this person other than the children. Most definitely that speaks of that here with the six of cups, and then you have the devil. So staying in this relationship for the wrong reason, um, because this is at the end of its, 
its cycle with somebody who's very emotionally manipulative and you just feel like you can't get anywhere with this person. So I do see that you will be releasing this um, and no longer um, holding on just for the children's sake. So, all right, Taurus, much luck to you guys. I send you all my healing love and light and well wishes, no matter which side of the fence you're on on this one. Um, action is about ready to be taken. So um, good luck. I send you healing love and God bless.